My name is Leo Chen, and I'm the Applications Engineer in charge of Linduino firmware development platform. I'm here today to talk about Linduino, what our goals are with this program, and what this effort is meant to do for you. Let's start off by answering one of the most important questions. What is Linduino? Linduino comes in two parts. Part one is the hardware. This is the Linduino One. You can write code for this using the standard free Arduino IDE. All code can be loaded through USB, and there's no fancy bootloading or complicated wiring necessary. This is essentially an Arduino Uno with some extra linear technology goodies bolted on. First is the LTM2884, a USB isolation module that protects anything that you have plugged into this USB port from anything that you possibly have plugged in on the other side. But the modifications do not end there. Here, on the other side, we have a standard QuickEval 14-pin connector. This allows the Linduino One to connect and interface with most of the hundreds of QuickEval compatible LTC demo boards available right now. The second part of Linduino is the most important part. The board is only part of Linduino. The real meat of Linduino is not the board, but the library of example firmware that comes backing the One. The Linduino One is merely there to provide a consistent development platform for the end customer. This library of code is intended to compile in any standard C compiler. We have taken steps to try to make the examples as portable as possible. As a matter of fact, the code is fully Arduino compatible. So if you have a spare Arduino Uno and the will to solder a couple of connections, you're already ready to play. We have started by writing example firmware for some of the most commonly requested categories. Delta Sigma ADCs, SAR ADCs, DACs, voltage monitors, temperature monitors, synthesizers. All the code is accessible inside of an Arduino library or through our website and the corresponding product pages. If you just want to see the code, you don't even need the hardware at all. The goal of the Linduino project is simple. It's to save time and to help out you, our customer. One of the most common questions we get about our parts with digital interfaces is, do you have sample code? Before Linduino, our answer was always no. Our QuickEval system was great for demoing the capabilities of our part but not ever meant to be a firmware development system. But, thanks to both this package of firmware and stable reference hardware, our answer is now yes. So what does this mean for you? The Linduino development platform allows you to focus on what you do well, your specialty. Whether you're better at hardware or software, in the end, Linduino allows you to reduce your total development time. Are you a hardware guy who just wants to see if you've hooked everything up correctly? Get a Linduino One, plug that into your digital communication bus, load up our firmware, and you're ready to go. Are you a software guy who wants to see if your code works? Load up your firmware into our Linduino One, plug in our demo board for the corresponding part, and check to see that all the lights blink. In the end, Linduino is here to help. Think of Linduino as another tool that LTC provides to make your life easier. Also, from an engineering standpoint, it is an awfully fun part to play with please visit our website for more information.